hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to display the items in our cart so let's get started with it so over here you can see when i press add to cart it says product already in cart so now i want to view my cart so we'll start with creating the page so over here i'll just say new file called cart.php you can call it my cart or shopping cart anything so I'll just keep it as card.php and then we'll just take this header and footer just copy and paste it over here and this thing I'll just remove it and we'll take the this thing yeah so the breadcrumbs thing and paste it over here so it is home slash cart okay so if you want to make it clickable you can just add the a tag over here something like this so you can just keep the a tag and for each thing you can make it clickable so let's quickly do that okay so this will be it's going to be index.php and this is going to be cart.php and this h6 tag is going to be out of this a tag yeah so this thing is done and remove this inside content let us check the output so it's over here right so we'll just add it in the navbar now cart.php you have it over here so let's add that text white okay so we need to add it in the a tag now okay so now when you just refresh here it is so first let us add it in the navbar so it's inside the includes navbar.php So you can just keep it like a public clickable or if you want you can just keep it inside the this if condition okay so only when the user is logged in then he'll be able to see this so for now I'll just leave it like even if you're not logged in you can just see that but when you try to access that page you will be redirected to login page first okay so we'll go over here so here it is okay cart so going to the cart page we need the database access over here right so for that we need to import this file over here functions user functions dot php okay so by this we are getting the database access now so here we need to write the function to get all the items in our cart so for that you can just go to your user functions dot php create a function over here to display the cart items of the user or you can directly write the query over here itself so we'll just write all the functions over here and just call them in the files so over here I'm going to say uh, my cart or you can say get cart get cart items and here you will be having the so we'll not be passing any arguments over here the user ID we are going to take it from the session so let's say global dollar con and then you're going to write the query select star from cards and products so we need to fetch from two tables right so I'll just give an alias to this card C and here I'm going to say select C dot ID as C ID and then C dot product ID so I'll just go to the database and check so here is my database so inside the carts table you have prod ID and user ID so we're going to say C dot prod ID and then we are just taking the p.id as 
PID and then P dot name P dot image and we'll just go to the products column and check so we need the name and then the image and the selling price copy that let's say p dot selling price so just zoom in and we require the product quantity right so in our cart we have the prod qty okay so we have taken all the fields which you require from this and now we are going to write the where condition where the c dot product id is equal to our product table id p dot id and we need to check the user id should be the authenticated user right so the c dot user id so in our cart table Here we need to pass our variable. So let's say dollar user ID and this thing we need to store it over here is equal to we have it in our login code. So let me just show you auth code. So once the user logs in, we have stored it in the auth user of user ID. So we'll just use this. Paste it over here. Auth user and we'll just copy that user id okay so just paste it over here and if you want to show the products in the latest added manner you can just add the order by over here say order by id and desc okay and now we'll write the this thing just copy and paste so you are returning the MySQL query, you are passing the connection and the query. Okay, so now let's just go to our card.php and over here, we'll just divide PHP and say dollar items is equal to get cart items. Okay, so we'll just loop and check if we got the data, say for each. dollar items as dollar you can just say c item and i'm going to echo the c item dollar c item yeah dollar c item of name let's check go and refresh so this thing we have a session start twice so that is because we already have one in this so we'll just remove it from here refresh and here we have some error so that thing is because of this comma over here so now when you refresh so we have an error over here okay so this id we need to define which id we are telling over here so it is a card.id right refresh yeah so here it is so i'll add another product and that should be first over here so we'll go to home and then you have collections and we we'll go to laptops add to cart product added to cart and you can see you have the laptop in the first and then you have the other products so let's design this so in your card.php we have a column md12 so inside this for each we'll just divide the php okay so now what we are going to do is we'll create another row over here and then you have column md2 so this will be for the image so we'll just copy this say img tag and in the src you have it over here right uploads and your file name so you can just say uploads 
slash and then you have to print your file name over here say dollar c item of image and in the alt tag you can just either print the product name or you can just say image and we'll give a class say width 100 and then we'll have call md3 or we'll just keep it 4 and we'll keep the product name in this okay copy and paste change it to name and then we'll keep column md3 and here we'll display the quantity okay so instead of displaying the number we will take the increment decrement widget from the view product yeah product view page and you have it over here so just copy this div and go to your cart and paste it over here so here you have this value right so instead of giving one you just paste the product quantity which the user has added in his cart so you can just say prod qty and then this increment and decrement thing we'll just see later so first we'll design the page so you have five and nine so you have three more left so you can just use that dot call md3 and inside this we are going to give the uh, remove product or delete product button okay so you can just say btn dot btn btn danger say remove okay so you can just remove this okay so let's check the output refresh and here it is okay so we'll just give a height to the image and we'll put this in a card and we'll add a title to this all these columns okay so instead of giving class as width 100 we'll just say width 50 and check refresh and here it is okay so if your images are of different size you can directly give the attribute called width and say as atpx refresh so you can see all the image will become in that thing and all this thing will just make it to the center so we'll just add a class over here align items center and now all this thing will be aligned to the center yeah so we'll just copy this thing and paste it above this for each loop once Okay, so we just pasted it inside the PHP. Yeah, over here. And you can just say product image or I'll just remove this and make it together. Column MD6. Say product and we'll just make it smaller to H6 and this is the quantity quantity and this thing we can just give it as action okay say h6 action go and refresh okay so we'll add the price also so inside this make this to 2 we'll add another call md 2 or you can just make this to 3 and this also to 3 and echo the price so if you are keeping it in dollars you can just say dollars or rupees say selling price 
okay so i'll just add it in the here also okay so it is five and this thing will just change it to remove yeah so we'll just put this in a card yeah so it dot card dot card body and we're going to give a shadow Control X and paste it over here. And inside this, for each loop, for each row, we are going to give a class called card and shadow SM. And we'll just paste this at the end of this row. Save, refresh. Okay and give some margin to this margin bottom 2 refresh and you can give it to 3 also 3 yeah so if you want you can just remove this outer card or shadow so it will be something like this yeah so we'll just reduce the size of this button say btn sm yeah so let's just add a icon over here in this remove button I'll just say i dot fa this is just font awesome the FA trash refresh and you have it over here we just give some space say margin end 2 refresh yeah so we have fetched the card products but this thing is not working you can see so this is because we haven't added the class name so if you remember we had added this product data and then we had fetched the nearest one so similarly if you give that thing over here inside this for each loop above this row okay so now just refresh and now when you just click you can see it is incrementing or decrementing however so when you refresh it will come back to its original value so in the next video we will see how to update this quantity and implement this remove button to our items in our cart so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to display the cart items in our php project so thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you